Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this AESO Wi-Fi digital photo frame. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this is a Wi-Fi digital photo frame, meaning you can send pictures to it wirelessly. Take a look at the back. I'm going to get the shrink wrap off here so it's easier to see. So here's the back, it says share your moments. So you can use the Framio app to share pictures with the frame. It has a nine inch HD IPS display with a 1280 by 800 resolution HD screen. Your pictures are always crisp and lifelike. So this would be essentially a 720p display. 720p is 1280 by 720. This is a little bit higher resolution on the vertical. It says large storage capacity, built in 16 gigabytes of storage, can hold 30,000 plus photos after cloud compression through the app. Invite friends to share, fast photo video transfer, and it has a touchscreen display. So you can download the Framio app on on Google Play or the Apple App Store. So we have some protective foam here. Here's the frame. Let's take that out. So this has a nice white frame around it. We'll take a little closer look at that in a second. I'll pull the user manual out. Here's a plastic peg that's used for a stand. And here's the power supply. So the output on this is five volts at two amps. So this does require power. It doesn't have a battery in it. So there's a protective film on here. We'll remove it. It also has an email and phone number you can call if you have trouble. So you can see the frame here is kind of angled in. So it looks like a picture frame. It has a glossy screen on it. Let's turn it over. Here we have a button on the back. We have a keyhole slot so you can mount this on a wall. It has a Kensington lock on it. And here's the place you can put the kickstand so that will thread in here. So that will sit like that or like this. You could potentially put it like that. That might put a little extra stress on it. But I think it's mostly meant to be used like that. On the end here, we have an SD card slot, a headphone port, USB slot, USB-A. That's where we're putting in a flash drive and the power. So I'm going to take this out for now. So if you have pictures on an SD card, you can put those in here like so. So this does have 16 gigabytes of storage. So I'm going to get this plugged in. So I'm going to try turning off my light. These can be kind of hard to film because they're glossy. We have a little intro screen there. So it looks like it's running Android. It says Android is starting. It says never disconnect the power when Framio is running. I'll hit okay. I'm going to play around with my camera so I can get a better view of this. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. I turned off the lights completely. It wants me to choose my language. It already says English, so I'll hit next. It wants me to choose Wi-Fi, so I'll choose my Wi-Fi network. Now it wants me to enter the password. So Wi-Fi is connected, I'll hit next. Okay, so I entered my password and I connected up to the Wi-Fi. Now it wants me to enter the time zone. So I'm central. It's already pulled the date and time off the internet. You can choose 24 hour time, I'll hit next. It says update Framio, so I'll tap download and install. So it looks like it's going through the intro again. I'll go through this quickly. Okay, so I just had to hit next through those options and now I'll type in my name. Okay, so I named it Mr. Frame, it's going in my office, I'll hit next. It says let's guide you. The first step on your new frame is to add some friends who can send photos. I'll hit next. Once you press the friend icon, you'll see a code. Give this code to a friend you want to add. Tip, you can do so by telling it, texting it, sending a photo of it, or another way of your choice. Tell your friends to download the Framio app where they can enter the code you sent. Now you're ready. Your friends can send you photos to the frame. Add all your friends and remember you can also add yourself. You can always find this guide in the settings menu. I'll hit done. So it says you've not received any photos yet. Tap the friend icon to add more friends. So I can add a friend here or go to settings. Let's look at the settings here real quick. So this is the information I've already set up. Here we have manage photos. So here we can import photos from another device or export photos. We have a friends list, display. We can change the brightness or the sleep mode. So it says sleep mode starts at 11 p.m. and ends at 7 a.m. each day. It's the slideshow. So this has options for the slideshow. It says show each photo for 30 seconds. So there's a slider here. See what it goes up to. Oh, so you can have each one for 24 hours or as low as two seconds. Go back to 30 seconds, I'll hit okay. It says show caption, fill frame, it has photo display order. We can do date received, date taken, or shuffle. We can reverse the order. It has video audio play, video playback, play once, and video volume. Then we have our Wi-Fi settings, notifications, backup and restore, help, and about. So go back to my frame. First I'll go to manage photos. I'm going to put in the SD card. I'll go to import photos. 
So here's a message on importing videos. It says it does not support video import from the SD card right now. You need to use the Framio app to do that. So I'll say OK. So let's see what options we have here. I think that was select all up in the upper right. Now I'll hit the download button and now it's downloading them. So while that's occurring, I'm going to download the Framio app on my iPad. Okay, so I just searched for Framio and downloaded it. I'll hit open. It wants me to set up my profile, so I'll enter my name. It says, let's guide you to send photos to a frame. Please ask the owner of the frame for a code. I'll hit next. Press the add friend icon. To insert the code you have been given, press the add friend icon in the top corner. I'll hit next. You can enter the code there. I'll hit done. It says Framio would like to access your photos. I'll say keep current selection. So I'll put that on hold for a second. This is almost done importing. It says all of the photos were imported. I'll say okay. I'll go out of here. Okay, and now we're showing the photos. Let's see if I can swipe. Okay, very nice. So this screen looks very good. This is an IPS display, so it has great image quality. So I just tapped in the middle, it says fit to frame, okay? So if I change fit to frame, it's going to put the bars on the side if it doesn't fit the frame perfectly. So you can determine based upon your photos if you like that better or not. Looks like we have a hide photo, adjust photo, also we can rotate it here in gallery. Okay, that's showing all the photos. And I want to go to, well, I want to add a friend. So I'll hit the friend icon here, I'll tap that. and it has a friend code. So I'm going to tap that in my app also, the little add a friend, with adds a frame, and I'll type the code in. I'll hit okay. It says Framio would like to find and connect to devices on your local network, I'll say okay. So it looks like we're connected, and it says a new friend was added. So I don't know that I have any photos on here. Let me see what I can find. Okay, so I have my most recent photo here. I'll tap on it, I'll add that in the bottom, I'll hit next. I'll tell it which frame I want it to go to. I'll hit next. I can write a caption, and I'll hit next. So it wants me to position this. So I'll just do like so, I'll hit send photo. And there it is, it's sent to my frame. So that's not a very fancy photo, obviously. It's just one I took of what I'm recording right now, but it shows you that it works and that happened very quickly. So I'll put the little kickstand in here now, since it's ready to go. So I'll try it this way. Okay, so that works well. And this cord, if I put it sideways, should work in that orientation. And you can see here that it actually rotates the screen. So whatever orientation you have it in, it will rotate it. So I tend to prefer landscape mode, but if you have lots of portraits, the other one could be better. Like if this was for a grandparent and you put their grandkids on this, you might want it in portrait mode for all their school portraits or something. So this did come with a manual. So these are the included languages. Take a quick look through here. This talks about the different parts. So it says to turn on, you hold the power button down for five seconds. When the frame is on, short press the power button to turn the screen on or off. So if I want to turn the screen off, press that button, the screen's off, press it again, it's back on. So if you're watching a movie in your living room and you want the screen off, you can just press that button. It says hold the power button for three seconds to get the power off option. So if you want to shut this down, you can hold that button down. It will give you the power off option and you can shut it down. It says micro SD slot. Okay, I think that's a little confusing. This actually just has an SD card slot, not a micro SD card slot, but it has a maximum of 64 gigabytes. And then it has a headphone jack because this will play video. You could hook speakers up to it. It has a USB 2.0 port. So that's for loading the photos onto it and micro USB. Oh, okay, and that says that's for factory technician work. So that's not for use. So if you want to put photos on it, you you can use the USB port, the SD card port, or you can use the Framio app. And here are the specs on here. So this supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So I'm guessing it does not support five, otherwise it would probably say that. Now this shouldn't use a tremendous amount of your Wi-Fi. I'm guessing it mostly uses Wi-Fi for things like keeping the time and transferring photos, but it's not like a streaming device that's going to be sucking up a lot of your internet. And the CPU is a quad core Cortex TM-A7. It has one gig of RAM, 16 gig of storage, and you can expand it to 64 gigabytes of storage. So this has all the setup we just went through. This talks about sharing. This talks about navigating the interface, managing photos, search for permission, display. This talks about the settings we looked at. So that's the ESO Wi-Fi digital photo frame. So I went through all that without having any training, without reading the manual. I thought that was very intuitive to set up. It was easy to take this. It was easy to integrate it with the app to upload photos to it. So to give you an idea what you could do with this is that you could give this to a parent or grandparent, and then you could send the code out to all of their kids, and their kids could upload photos of their grandkids to, directly to the frame. 
So that's a really cool option. Of course, applications of this are endless. Now I've had a number of picture frames over the years and they get used for about a month and then you quit updating the photos. I really like the idea that this is connected to the internet so you can update them from your devices as opposed to having to swap a card in and out. Although that option is available if that's how you want to do it. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.